Hi, welcome back to the channel and video number 109. Uh, in the last uh, video on the Raptor, I had a lot of people in the comments uh, asking me to do a video on Dark Arrow. So here it is. For those of you not familiar with Dark Arrow 1, it's a carbon fiber two-place retractable aircraft designed by the Carl Brothers in Madison, Wisconsin. A little bit of background on the Carl Brothers. It's made up of three brothers, uh, River, who's got a electrical engineering degree, software, electronics background. Keegan, who's uh, got a mechanical engineering degree, mechanical background. And uh, Riley, who's uh, aeronautical, uh, got the CAD background. Riley also built a Cozy. That gave him a lot of experience with uh, composites and uh, a lot of experience just in general building airplanes, all the hardware, all the things that go into it. You learn a tremendous amount uh, building an airplane. So these guys are uh, young but very enthusiastic about this project and I think uh, their engineering background really shows here. They're very well organized, they're very methodical, they don't leave uh, any stone unturned, they have a good target for this airplane and uh, I just really like what they're doing and uh, how they've done it here. They've really designed this airplane from a production standpoint uh, unlike a lot of designers of kit planes. That's uh, kind of an afterthought. These guys put a lot of thought into how this is going to be made, how it's going to be made economically and accurately and easily by uh, builders. And I think that's something that separates uh, this design and this effort from a lot of other uh, kit makers. These are the basic specs they're projecting and there just isn't much uh, new available in fast retractable two-place sport planes anymore. Uh, most of the stuff uh, being offered today has got large engines, uh, far more expensive, heavier, all that. Uh, they're trying to get good performance with light weight here. Dark Arrow is about the same size as the Lancer 320, 360. Same sort of cockpit width, uh, wingspan, wing area is pretty close. Weight uh, kind of close, although with carbon fiber it's a bit lighter than the Lancer. Of course the Lancer 320, 360 kits uh, haven't been available for a long time now. Dark Arrow is smaller and much lighter than something like a Legacy, and the Legacy is no longer in production either. The brothers started working on the concept back in 2014, and uh, by 2017 they'd all uh, quit their jobs in industry to concentrate full-time on this aircraft. As with many new designs, uh, this was laid out in CAD, and uh, also used all the modern tools like CFD to develop the shape and uh, come up with uh, all the best design compromises. Many hours were spent uh, on the computer modeling the shape, looking at uh, airflow, pressure distribution, uh, turbulence, uh, stall behavior like this. These tools should save a lot of time and uh, do-overs. You certainly don't want do-overs on a composite aircraft when you've spent so much time making the molds for production. The CFD results were all validated in the wind tunnel. and That's something that most small kit manufacturers don't do at all. I think that shows the thoroughness of this team here. They want to end up with the very best design they can before they actually start flight testing the prototype. The team purchased a small CNC router for the mold making process, which they wanted to keep in house for uh, best QC and to speed up production. And you can see it working on one of the molds here. And much of Dark Arrow is constructed from uh, honeycomb sandwich panels and uh, the team found they were not very happy with some of the commercially available stuff so they actually built their own. Here are some of the panels cut out from a large sheet on the CNC router and this is a great idea. This saves time, uh, improves repeatability, accuracy and allows changes down the road uh, easily without a lot of uh, hand work and mess. Time is money and uh, saving time reduces the kit prices in the end. And I'm just uh, really impressed with the quality of the composite parts that these guys are turning out. They look uh, just excellent. The team is using infusion molding instead of hand layups. This uh, will result in uh, lighter parts, stronger parts, and a big reduction in labor when it goes into production. The parts are all post cured at higher temperature for uh, increased strength. And uh, the guys couldn't afford a commercial oven, so they just built their own. Awesome. And you can see the excellent quality of the carbon parts in this picture here. And this excellent external finish is very important. Uh, sanding composite airplanes is the bane of them usually. 
and this will save hundreds of hours of uh, tedious sanding. The wing uses a bit uh, different structure from most uh, composite aircraft. It's a series of uh, ribs and shear webs and no uh, real main spar, so to speak. Or it's very light. The wing is pictured here, only weighs about 77 pounds. And the wing is very strong. The uh, brothers went to a lot of trouble to build a test rig and statically load this, uh, both in the positive and negative direction, to uh, validate the FEA models. And uh, it didn't break, which I'm sure they were relieved at. A lot of kit manufacturers don't perform uh, these steps either especially uh, loading the wing in the uh, negative direction to simulate the loading in the negative G. This again shows the thoroughness of the uh, whole design process and uh, validation process uh, on the Dark Arrow project. The team also purchased a Tormac CNC prototyping mill. And that allows them to make a lot of their parts in-house. Uh, they can check fit, they can make design changes. A really good move, I think, on their part. Tormac is also headquartered uh, right in Madison as well, so that made sense to choose uh, one of their machines. Lightweight is very key to this design. The team went to a lot of trouble to design and build a thermal test rig to evaluate firewall materials. I haven't seen any other kit manufacturers go to this sort of extent to try to save weight and actually validate some of the materials used. This was a, a fascinating uh, video to watch. And uh, again, I applaud the guys for doing this sort of work. Power for the Dark Arrow comes from the uh, UL520IS engine built in Belgium. This is a FADEC equipped uh, flat six air cooled direct drive engine, only weighs 238 pounds, puts out 200 horsepower at 3300 RPM. And I think this was uh, totally the right choice. Uh, it's a more modern engine. The lightweight was very important. Uh, FADEC equipped, and uh, though it doesn't get any better fuel specifics than a Lycoming, it just seems like the uh, logical engine choice for a new design like Dark Arrow. So during some of the videos, we saw that uh, some of the parts were made over again. The team uh, wasn't satisfied uh, that it was the best part they could make. They could maybe improve on uh, making it lighter or stronger, or uh, making it uh, less expensive to build by cutting machining time. So they weren't uh, just satisfied that it was good enough for a prototype. They wanted to try to do their best, make the part as light and functional as possible. And I really like that approach. The design uses a few uh, different ways of doing things. They have a split rudder design that's a bit interesting. They also use a lot of aluminum in the landing gear and uh, electric actuation. They're trying that. We'll see how that all works out. They've done the engineering analysis for these parts and uh, I applaud them for trying some new things here. One other thing I was most impressed with was uh, the way they've approached the uh, build instructions on this. It'll be online, it'll kind of be interactive. You'll be able to look at uh, different perspectives in CAD. Uh, they've got excellent uh, detail on all the uh, documentation step by step. I think this uh, carries the kit building process to a new level. I think this is going to be really good and probably something that uh, other manufacturers will uh, be forced to copy in the future, perhaps even. So uh, kudos there, guys. This is uh, really good. It'll make the airplane uh, much easier to build. It'll reduce uh, the amount of time you spend on tech calls. And uh, it shows the uh, very high attention to details these guys have to turn out an excellent kit here. These guys really put out some excellent videos. They're very informative, very well done. If you haven't watched them yet, you should. So here's the uh, basic specs on the Dark Arrow one and what follows here is just a little bit of a comparison or evaluation of those specs against some other aircraft. So how does Dark Arrow compare to other aircraft out there? Well about the only thing comparable is probably a Lancer 360 and uh, I've just got a spec chart here that I put together. Uh, Proposed empty weight for the Dark Arrow 1 is 750, gross 1500, useful load 750. Uh, it's got a very small wing on it, uh, which is good for low drag and cruise, but may affect other things like stall speed, uh, service ceiling, and rate of climb. The engine's rated at 200 horsepower. However, 
that's at uh, 3300 rpm chances are they won't be turning it that fast uh, in reality at about 2800 it's making about 185 horsepower so pretty comparable to the Lycoming parallel valve engine uh, 180 horsepower and uh, 75 percent cruise 275 rate of climb 2500 range 1700 statute miles uh, it carries a lot of fuel 77 gallons and the stall speed uh, 70 miles an hour so if we compare to the Lance Air 360 which is about the closest comparable aircraft that exists uh, the Dark Arrow is much lighter useful load is a uh, lower on the Lance Air as well because it's heavier the Lance Air has got a little bit bigger wing and uh, we'll say about the same horsepower uh, cruise is only 235 rate of climb uh, less as well range less because it carries less fuel stall speed because of the uh, bigger wing is a little lower and maybe a uh, difference in flaps and just to compare to a popular metal airplane uh, also two place although it's tandem seating empty weight is uh, on the dark arrows a bit lighter than this even gross is similar useful loads lower on the RV RV's got a much bigger wing uh, same horsepower cruise is uh, 75 miles an hour less rate of climb is less range is far less because it doesn't carry much fuel the big wing gives it a lower stall speed however and the figures in red here are what I estimate to be closer to the actual figures that Dark Arrow might achieve I think it'll be a bit heavier I'm estimating about 820 we'll say the gross is the same the useful load uh, drops from 750 here to 680 wing area of course is the same like I discussed on the engine um, I think it'll be closer to 185 horsepower, turning 2800, which is a more realistic RPM for the propeller. Um, I don't think it'll do 275. I think it's going to be closer to about 250. Rate of climb, I don't think it'll do 2500 feet a minute at gross. The wing is pretty small. I just don't see that being possible. The range is still impressive because it carries a lot of fuel, and the uh, speed is pretty high, so I'm going to estimate about 1550. Fuel stays the same, and the stall, I think, is realistic. I've worked through some numbers here, and that seems uh, plausible. Of course, only flight testing will uh, validate the performance numbers here one way or the other, but the team is uh, getting a lot closer to getting the airplane completed, and it looks like it uh, will fly in 2021. Dark Arrow is a really cool project, and uh, these guys are doing a great job from what I've seen so far. I really wish them the best here and uh, looking forward to the uh, first flights. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching and be sure to check out the uh, Dark Arrow YouTube channel and the Dark Arrow website. I have links in the description. Bye for now.